Well, the marathon runners are out in Kalamazoo, and we are just getting ready for the half marathon runners to take off from the starting line. We will have coverage for you of the Ziegler Kalamazoo Marathon all morning long. Plus, protests continue across campuses nationwide how the University of Michigan's commencement ceremony was interrupted. And we have new information this morning about a crash that hospitalized a woman. What we know so far as the investigation continues. Covering West Michigan to protect and alert you. This is News Channel 3, live at 8. You're watching News Channel 3. I'm Princess Jeanne Steverson. Right now, one of our very own is getting ready to hit the streets of Kalamazoo. News Channel 3's Jessica Harthorn and many others are running the half marathon. We're checking in now with our Julie Williams, who's waiting for those runners to get to the starting line in the other half hour. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Princess Jenna. And like you said, we are still at the starting line because we're about a half an hour out from the official start of the Kalamazoo Ziegler half marathon. And you mentioned our Jessica Harthorn. She has been training so hard, folks. She's going to be running the half marathon. That's 13.1 miles of running. So we're looking for her right now. I'm sure she's got a busy morning. And I actually talked to a young woman maybe 10, 15 minutes ago who's running the half marathon. And she said, you kind of just get in the zone. I wanted to know what compels someone to run 13 miles, 26 miles, even just a couple of miles this morning. So like you said, the half marathon takes off in a half an hour. The Kalamazoo Marathon, the folks who are running 26.2 miles, took off at 7 this morning. So they're about in half-ish into their run hour, Thank I should you. say. Uh, so they are going all throughout hey, Kalamazoo, and they are Baker? starting and ending here at the Arcadia the Creek Festival site. Hey, I'm sure you can tell it's a little loud this morning. It's really exciting. Folks are getting ready, and there are going to be a lot of spectators, too. There are about 4,000 runners this year, and they say thousands of people will just be watching. Keep in mind, if you do want to come down and watch, you might want to bundle up. It's kind of that cold, chilly morning that's a little chilly for us who are uh, on the sidelines, but it should be perfect for the runner. So we're going to go look for Jessica. We're going to uh, keep an eye on things here and we'll be checking in with you again throughout the morning. For now, I'm going to send it back to you all in the studio reporting from downtown Kalamazoo. I'm Julie Williams for News Channel 3. All right. Thank you, Julie. And now we're going to take it over to our meteorologist, Colin Rogers. Now, we just heard uh, Julie talk about how it's chilly out there. And for the runners, it should be a little warm for them. But we know just for us typical people who are going to be on the sideline for the Ziegler uh, Kalamazoo Marathon, what should it feel like for us? Yeah, you know, chilly if you're just standing. If you're mm -hmm. running, you couldn't have asked for much better weather. We have the clouds out there, temperatures in the 50s. And uh, wind's pretty calm as well, some drier air pulling into the region. Right now, here's a live look over downtown Chicago. Notice a few breaks in the clouds. The sun already peeking out in Chicago, so it's not that far away. We'll see part of the cloudy skies later on this afternoon. Right now, temperatures are in the 50s. Kalamazoo, 56 degrees. Look at South Haven in the 40s this morning, 49. GR, 53. Marshall and Coldwater, both in the 60s at 60 degrees. We're dealing with lots of clouds right now. Some areas of patchy fog could be reducing visibility in a few spots, but as we Cruise throughout our day. We'll notice partly cloudy skies by the afternoon hours. There's those temperatures cooler this afternoon in the upper 60s, right around 70 degrees. And these cooler conditions are all thanks to these northwesterly winds pulling in some of this cooler and drier air. Winds flip back out of the south, though, by Tuesday, and that'll bring the, enough energy for some scattered showers and some thunderstorms, some of which could be on the strong side. I'll time things out and have the details for you coming up in just a few. One person is hospitalized after a crash in Porter Township. According to Cass County Sheriff's Office, it happened around 930 last night near the intersection of US 12 and Robbins Lake Road. A man was driving on a curve when he crossed the center line to the other side of the road. The driver then crashed into another vehicle driven by a 45 year old woman. She was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be OK. Thankfully, seatbelts were worn and deputies say alcohol and drugs do not appear to be a factor in the crash. Pro-Palestinian protesters briefly interrupted the University of Michigan's commencement ceremony in Ann Arbor. That was yesterday when more than four dozen students marched toward the stage during the ceremony. 
They started chanting near the beginning of the program, revealing flags and signs that had been concealed. The 78th Secretary of the Navy, Carlos del Toro, was speaking at the ceremony as the protest took place. At one point, he mentioned the ROTC, saying they will protect the freedoms Americans cherish, including the right to protest peacefully. He had to pause briefly during his speech as the stadium reacted to the protest. Michigan is the industrial heartland of America. You are the arsenal of democracy. And it is indeed, it is indeed these young men and women who will protect the freedoms that we so cherish as Americans in our Constitution of the United States, which includes the right to protest peacefully. Authorities escorted the protesters towards the back of the stadium. They were allowed to stay and protest throughout the ceremony. No arrests were made. Those weren't the only protests on Saturday. At least 25 protesters were arrested at the University of Virginia as police cleared yet another encampment. Officers pushed forward with shields appear, appearing to spray a gas into the crowd. Protesters at Tufts University in Massachusetts took down their encampments themselves Friday night. But the university says they had not reached an agreement with protesters and that the demonstration ended voluntarily. Tents remain up at the University of Southern California. USC canceled its commencement ceremony, now planning an alternative graduate celebration, alternative memorial coliseums. One person is arrested after stealing a car and leading police on a high-speed chase. Take a look. Michigan State Police posted this video of the chase to their ex account. It happened Thursday night in Detroit. They say troopers attempted to stop the suspect after he fled a traffic stop. The 32-year-old man went around the first patrol car and clipped the front passenger side tire of the second patrol car. Police chased him down the highway where he went at least 150 miles per hour at one point weaving throughout traffic. The suspect was eventually arrested after a short foot pursuit and taser deployment by police. Police have also determined the car the suspect was driving was stolen. A crash in Allegan County being investigated by the sheriff's office. Deputies say they received a call of a crash involving a four-wheeler around 7.30 yesterday evening. It happened at 30th Street and 137th Avenue in Allegan County. Responders attempted life-saving measures when they arrived, but the victim unfortunately died on the scene. Deputies say the crash occurred on a private property. The name of the driver is not yet being released at this time. The beloved Kalamazoo Farmer's Market has officially opened for the 2024 season. It features fresh food and handmade goods from over 100 vendors. The market is open every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. through October the 26th. It will then be open from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. from November 2nd throughout November 23rd. There will also be Tuesday and Thursday markets, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. from June 4th to October 3rd, and night markets are scheduled for June 20th, July. 18th, August 15th, and September 19th. Well, coming up, local volunteers look to restore the final resting place of American heroes, a look at the group that came together to restore the Lawler Cemetery. And it will be quiet today as well as tomorrow, but thunderstorms will develop by Tuesday afternoon, some of which could be on the strong side. I'll time things out coming up in just a few. Here's a live look over downtown Kalamazoo. vaping. Last Thursday, nearly 60 dogs were rescued from horrible conditions at a puppy mill in North Carolina that later arrived in Michigan. The dogs were among over 200 rescued by the Bissell Pet Foundation from the alleged mill, whose owners face 190 felony charges. Eight animal welfare organizations throughout the state received the dogs, and five schnauzers were sent to SPCA of Southwest Michigan. Members of the SPCA are now working to turn the dogs' lives around and let them live the way they're supposed to. 
The rescued pups will be placed into the SPCA of Southwest Michigan's Cage to Care Free program. It aims to help animals that come from terrible living conditions. Those interested in adopting these dogs can do so by visiting the SPCA of Southwest Michigan's website. Several groups volunteered their Saturday afternoon to restore the final resting place of numerous American heroes and settlers. The Lawler Cemetery at the Fort Custer National Guard based in Augusta is the final resting place of over 15 Civil War soldiers, one American Revolution soldier, and others from the 19th century. Members of the Michigan National Guard at Fort Custer, along with volunteers from the Michigan Youth Challenge Academy and others, came together for the restoration project. This is our community. It's just a piece of history that we want to take care of. And you can see, it, you know, time has had its uh, fair share of wear and tear on the cemetery. And we're just trying to maintain it and, uh, you know, keep, keep it alive. Mm -hmm. What a sweet deed to do. Those wishing to volunteer at the cemetery can visit the Charleston Township website. All right, Jake can uh, look at the forecast with Colin, who says that we can look for some warmer temps, but right now it's a little chilly. Yeah, right now we're in the 50s. Some clouds are out there mm -hmm. right now, but we'll notice partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the upper 60s, lower 70s as we head into the afternoon hours. Right now, here's a look at Windmill Island Gardens in Holland. Tulip time, of course, kicked off yesterday. It runs through Mother's Day, and the tulips still looking great out there this morning. I was there last Monday. They already looked spectacular. Make sure to go check it out for yourselves. Thank you to the city of Holland for that view there. Right now, temperatures are in the 50s for most. Holland, 53. Kalamazoo, 56. GR, 53 as well. Battle Creek coming in at 57 degrees. We're dealing with lots of clouds out there this morning, but clouds will start to break up as we head into the afternoon hours. So your Cinco de Mayo forecast calling for morning clouds, afternoon sunshine. Temperature is very comfortable in the upper 60s and the lower 70s. So if you're heading out for some Mexican food for lunch or dinner, you may want to consider sitting outside. It'll be a nice evening out there all across West Michigan. Let's time things out, take a closer look at things hour by hour. Lots of clouds this morning, partly cloudy conditions expected throughout the afternoon hours. Temperatures much cooler this afternoon than we were yesterday afternoon. Upper 60s, lower 70s, cooler along the lake shore. Tonight we'll see partly cloudy skies, low temperatures drop down into the upper 40s and the lower 50s. A good night to have those windows open, let in some fresh air. And then for our Monday, we'll see partly cloudy skies, temperatures slightly warmer, climbing back up into the middle 70s for most by Monday afternoon. But right now, let's take a live look outside. Cloudy skies, some low clouds, areas of patchy fog right now as we look over Bronson Park and downtown Kalamazoo. We're expecting cloudy skies this morning, but clouds will break up as we enter into the afternoon hours and setting us up for a gorgeous Monday as well. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures middle 70s. But notice Tuesday, rain chances return and also storm chances return as well. And some of those storms could be on the stronger side. Right now, the latest severe weather outlook keeps the best chance for severe weather off to our south from areas from Arkansas all the way up into Ohio. But areas like along the I-94 corridor and south especially are under a marginal. That's a one out of five risk for severe weather. So a pretty low chance, but we could have a few isolated thunderstorms that have some gusty winds, some hail with them on Tuesday afternoon, afternoon into the evening hours of Tuesday. We'll have to remain weather aware for a few of those pop-up stronger storms possible. And then after that system departs, we'll notice some cooler air by the end of the week, Friday into this weekend, high temperatures only in the lower to middle 60s. Your Sealy Auto Group 7-day forecast showing clouds this morning, partly cloudy skies by the afternoon hours, temperatures in the lower 70s this afternoon. Tomorrow, we're slightly warmer, gorgeous day. Tuesday, we'll all have a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon hours. There's a small chance that some of them could be on the strong side. We dry out for the most part on Wednesday, and then it's going to be a soaker Wednesday night through Thursday. And then behind that system, that's when we'll notice some cooler air funneling in. Friday and into the weekend. Mm -hmm. And you talked about uh, the weather getting warmer for Cinco de Mayo, so a great time to have a quesadilla, maybe some black bean soup. Yeah. <laughs> a great day to celebrate. What about you? You going out for anything Cinco de Mayo, Mexican inspired? Yeah, I'll probably get some tacos mm -hmm. and some margaritas, and uh, you know, you, you got to do it on Cinco de Mayo, right? <laughs> you cannot go wrong with nachos and margaritas, so I'll, I'll join you on that one for sure. And True. maybe we'll even see some of you out there with us. Now stay tuned. Don't move. Coming. 
up in sports. The Tigers are looking to win their fifth series in a row, but the evil empires stand in their way. Highlights from the Bronx right after this break.